Well, dreams, they feel real while we're in them, right? It's only when we wake up that we realize something was actually strange. Hey, what's up, guys? TMR. Hope everyone is doing well. As most of you may have heard by now, Hillary Clinton has basically vowed to quote-unquote disclose classified files on UFOs and aliens. She's going to bring disclosure. Uh, that's the script currently playing out. So many can see this is the obvious alien deception, alien card that's being pulled. It's the New World Order alien agenda playing out right before our eyes, and it's really ramping up. So NASA just made an announcement on Tuesday. NASA's Kepler mission announces largest collection of planets ever discovered. The Kepler mission has supposedly verified over 1,200 new exoplanets, the single largest finding of planets to date, according to NASA. I saw a video posted by Face Like the Sun YouTube channel on this so-called announcement on Tuesday, and I stated there, I made a comment, that this is so obviously and clearly just another seed planted for the upcoming deception and fake disclosure. Now, so we have Hillary Clinton, who's one of the biggest New World Order insiders and puppets on Earth. Everything she is doing, make no mistake, is scripted, staged, designed by her handlers, and that's all there is to it. So you know with this alien business, the fix is in. We're seeing that this script play out, and it's just really nothing but a dog and pony show. Tell us what you're gonna do when it comes to Area 51 and whether or not the US government knows of aliens, should Secretary Clinton be elected like president? Well, what I've talked to the Secretary about and what she said now in public uh, is that if she's elected president and she gets into office, uh, she'll ask for uh, as many records as the United States uh, federal government has to be declassified. And uh, I think that's a commitment that she intends to keep and that I intend to hold her to. Have you seen any of these documents? You were a White House Chief of Staff years ago. Uh, you you know, uh, President Clinton uh, asked for some uh, information about some of these things, uh, and in particular, uh, some information about what was going on uh, at Area 51. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, the U.S. government uh, could do a much better job uh, in answering the qu legitimate questions that people have uh, about what's going on with uh, unidentified aerial phenomena, and they should, uh, you know, the American people can handle the truth, so they should just uh, do a what thorough is the, search. What is the truth? And are, open it is up. there evidence of alien life? You know, that's that's for the public to judge once they've seen all the all all the uh, evidence that the U.S. What do you has. think? What do you think personally? What do I think? I think there's a lot of planets out there. So in the following video I'm about to show you guys, of course they bring in one of their biggest science frauds and puppets, nothing but a mascot who's paraded around the media for the masses, similar to Einstein, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Lawrence Krauss, Bill Nye, etc. Michio Kaku uh, to weigh in on the PSYOP. And in laughably predictive fashion, he brings up NASA's recent announcement with Kepler and uses that as more evidence to support the notion of alien life in the universe, which of course lends more credence and relevance to Hillary's supposed concern to quote-unquote tell the public the truth and reveal the truth to the public regarding this issue. We had these mountains of classified documents about uh, sightings of UFOs, but mainly perhaps triggered by stealth bombers. And there's no, there's no natural security involved anymore. You're a, a theoretical physicist. The, the big question of do you think there's intelligent life elsewhere out there? Do you think there is? And if there is, do you, do you think it's visited us before? We have to look at the fact that just this week, NASA released the fact that 1,200 planets were discovered by the Kepler satellite just this past week. And so we now know that perhaps there are a billion Earth-like planets in our backyard the Milky Way galaxy. Go out tonight and have an existential shock looking at the night sky, realizing that there are probably a billion planets that are Earth-like. I think I only had to memorize eight of them in school. I think I, I got off easy. Right. <laughs> and to think that we're the only game in town, I think, is kind of presumptuous. But I, that, that question, though, do you, the idea that there is intelligent life and it's been here, do you, do you think we've been visited by extraterrestrial well, intelligent life? First of all, I think they're out there, okay? You see, this is one of the main reasons NASA has been put in place. 
They are spearheading an agenda that will eventually lead to a fake announcement regarding alien civilizations and alien life, possibly an alien savior of some type, just as depicted in the sci-fi show Childhood's End, who, by the way, just so happens to appear as Satan himself. Interesting to say the least. And last but not least, may also lead to the scenario that an advanced alien civilization seeded mankind, as seen in many films and, and pop culture, most notably Ridley Scott's occult film Prometheus. This is why NASA is nothing but a public relations money laundering scam that is being used for the New World Order agenda on a daily basis. These so-called announcements and discoveries that we see time and time again, such as water on Mars, uh, finding Earth-like planets, etc., are just more seeds planted into the subconscious of the masses, leading up to alien disclosure. They've been prepping us all this time. And so finally, I ask the question to you guys. Who do you think is going to make this announcement regarding alien life? You guessed it, NASA. Everything is falling into place, leading up to a fake or false disclosure. That's what all of this is about. And this plan has been brewing not just for years, not just for decades, but over half a century. And you look at all of the alien programming in the media, Hollywood, movies, and pop culture going way back. And if you take a critical look, you can see what they've actually done is very slowly, very, very, very slowly condition the population to accept the notion of alien life. But not merely just accept, we've now reached a point where you're, you're the nut job if you don't believe that there are other alien civilizations in the universe. But I believe that people need to take a big step back, a deep breath, and ask yourself, ask yourselves, why do they want so very badly to make you believe in alien life and that UFOs, unidentified flying objects we see on Earth, for the, for the most part, are piloted by little green men? Look how much they put this out there. Look how much they discuss this in their media. It's a circus, a dog and pony show, and psychological warfare against the population. It seems very clear to me that what they've been doing all this time is making it seem as if they are hiding aliens from us and pretending as if they don't want the truth to come out, while at the same time, in the same breath, they program and condition us to no end about aliens. It's laughable. Hollywood and the media has inundated us, bombarded us with anything and everything aliens for all of these years. They've done this since day one. Just take a look around you and see how much aliens are a part of our culture. Do you see something wrong here? I just uploaded a video the other day showing a few 1950s Walt Disney productions, which was all about what? Discovering alien life on the future so-called mission to Mars. And that was in the 50s. Walt Disney, of course, a 33rd degree Freemason himself, with the not-so-obvious Masonic Club 33 at Disney, who's been programming your kids with Illuminati propaganda and rhetoric and sex subliminal magic for over half a century. So again, I think we need to ask ourselves why. Why do they want us to believe in so badly and pummel us with this Big Bang infinite universe so there has to be alien life rhetoric over and over again? Think about that. If you haven't questioned this yet, I really hope you can see something is not right here. And this is coming from a guy who got into conspiracy research, by the way, because of the UFO and alien topic. You know, I ate this stuff up. But now I have such a different viewpoint and perspective from when I first began researching into these topics. You know, now I can see something is seriously wrong here. And in my view, it's playing right into the New World Order agenda. If you want to see what Martians might look like, you might sort of look in the mirror or or rather say we are Martians, so we, we colonize the planet. The bottom line is that microbes might have existed, and that's what we're looking for. And if we find it, the fascinating question will be just that. 
Are these microbes that evolved independently? Because if they did, if they really did, if two different objects in our solar system evolved life independently, then it means the universe is full of life, and it means life evolves very easily. The Pope's statement reveals his view that intelligent extraterrestrial life has evolved in a manner that is consistent with the plan of the Creator, thereby making it possible for extraterrestrials to act in ways that further this plan. The Pope's statement is a surprising endorsement of the view that the activities of intelligent extraterrestrial life in the universe can be part of a universal plan by God the Creator. Okay, let's take a moment to let that sink in. Because if there is water, quote, flowing today on the surface of Mars, then that means there could be life on Mars. I'm trying to contain my excitement, but with this discovery, it only advances the chance that life on Mars could be discovered within our lifetime. Former astronaut John Grunsfeld, who currently works with NASA's Science Mission Directorate, explains, The most exciting thing about the announcement today is that it would be possible to have life on Mars. The findings strengthen the odds that extraterrestrial life could be on the red planet. Liquid water is essential for life to thrive here on Earth, so it's way better chances that we'll find little green men on Mars now. So it's way better chances that we'll find little green men on Mars now. I mean, people want to see aliens. I want to see an alien. To think that humans are the only only uh, living organism to populate this universe is stupidity. I think a lot of people want to know that there's something out there that's beyond our Earth. They're coming, and we'll be ready.